Uh, and welcome to the 97th annual Thanksgiving Day Parade Balloon Inflation. And we're here to celebrate on behalf of all the players that make this happen. So we have 100,000 Macy's colleagues that bring this all together. Uh, this is a beloved holiday tradition that uh, kicks off the holiday season in general. Uh, the Macy's studio works from the moment we finish Thanksgiving to today. They spend one year in creating this amazing parade. Uh, so in a few hours, it will be the official kickoff to the holiday season. And that would not be possible without the very close partnership of everybody in New York City. And our partnership is based on shared values, the importance of community for all New Yorkers, uh, and also the guests that come from all over the world and country to visit us during this time. I want to thank the mayor and the commissioner uh, for just the incredible partnership that we get from, from Macy's, uh, with the city of New York every day, but particularly this time of year. And we want to thank the thousands of very dedicated city uh, employees that help bring this together. And we're very grateful to the Macy's colleagues uh, that, that come together this year as well. We couldn't do the parade without everybody's partnership. So um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the parade and the 97th annual parade. Uh, the big news here is that it's starting 30 minutes early. It's going to be a three and a half hour celebration this year. So it starts at 8.30, and this year we have 5,000 volunteers that are going to bring it together. We have 16 new character balloons, and you'll see many of them behind you as you walk through. We have uh, 26 floats, 32 heritage and novelty balloons, 700 clowns, that's appeared for the clowns. We have uh, 12 marching bands. We have nine performance groups. Uh, we have seven new character balloons. So this year, we have the Beagle Scout Snoopy, which people think it's going to be a crowd favorite. We have the Kung Fu Panda Po that's going to be here, and the new Pillsbury Doughboy uh, balloon. Uh, we have animated floats from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Box, Slow Show, and for any of you that are going to be looking forward to seeing the movie Wonka, we've got a float celebrating that. Um, we have great performers this year. How many of you are Cher followers? So Cher is here this year. We also have John Batiste is going to kick off the parade. So he's got an amazing performance planned. We have In Vogue, we have In High Pen, uh, really the best of Broadway, many shows there. The Radio City Rockettes are going to be back again. And of course, the one and only Santa Claus. Uh, we also have the Macy Singing Christmas Tree. And this year in our collaborations with Big Brothers Big Sisters and our commitment at Macy's to empowering youth, uh, they're also going to be on the float uh, with the, the, the Singing Christmas Tree. So, on behalf of the Macy's family, without further ado, we want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. And our illustrious mayor, Mayor Adams, I give you the mic. Well, thank you. Thanks so much, Jeff. And... We are welcome here with our amazing ball uh, uh, councilwoman, Councilwoman Brewer, who has joined us as well. She says, welcome to the uh, Upper West Side. And I was telling Jeff, this is his Super Bowl. You know, they start from the day after Thanksgiving to look at how important it is to put on this amazing, amazing, global display of really family and family values and family interactions. And you know, before I, I want, uh, get started, I want to comment on the incident that occurred at the Rainbow Bridge in Niagara Falls, New York. Uh, the NYPD and our team have been closely monitoring the situation. Uh, Commissioner, uh, Deputy Commissioner Weiner has been communicating with our partners across uh, all of the agencies involved and the NYPD and partners have already enhanced security. We've already had enhanced security because of the holiday and we don't see any nexus between the incident there and here in New York City. We're going to continue to be out in full force. Uh, Chief Madry and his team uh, will make sure we have the right manpower that's here and we're going to continue to monitor all the chatter that's taking place to ensure that people can enjoy the holidays. So we're saying come out, enjoy yourselves. We will do our job. Uh, your job is to have as much fun as possible. Uh, these are memories that will last a lifetime uh, with our children here. They are so excited. But when I look at the individuals who are watching the balloons uh, uh, blown up, and clearly, I think the adults are having more fun than the children are, you know? 
Uh, we have also uh, want to make sure that you come and enjoy yourselves, you know, as much as possible in a very safe way. You know, the Macy's uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade marks the launch of our holiday season. Thousands of families travel here, and for those who are outside the city, New Yorkers only ask you to do one thing, and that is to spend money. Spend a lot of money, shop, enjoy yourselves. They say shop until you drop. You know, leave, leave all of your additional baggage here. We want you to leave all of your uh, presidents that have transitioned, leave them right here. Grant, Washington, all of them, leave them right here in our stores. And you know, thousands of families travel from around the nation and around the globe to see these balloons inflated, and we cannot wait to become a uh, part of this great excitement. You think about it, uh, 97 years of doing this, of, of having uh, generations come and, ex and enjoy all of the excitement that comes with this parade. Uh, this year, as it was mentioned, Jeff mentioned, we are welcoming back old friend who knows his way around Thanksgiving Kitchen, popping fresh the Pillsbury uh, Doughboy will be gracing our skies again with some of our great uh, favorite. Everyone loves uh, Snoopy. I don't know who doesn't love Snoopy. Dino, SpongeBob, SquarePants, and our good friend from down under, Bluey, and Baby Yoda. Uh, he's going to have the force with us to have a great parade. Uh, the city is full of gratitude and thanks for all. I say this over over again. Uh, remember the season is Thanksgiving, not thanks receiving. So let's go out and let's give some thanks to people who are not as fortunate as many of us. We're going to continue. I have uh, Commissioner Iskell as here. We're going to monitor the speeds, from the wind speeds, to make sure that we may have to fly a little lower. He, he did an amazing job last night during the storm. Let's give it up for uh, Kiss. Where's Commissioner Isco? Unbelievable, you know. He was on the front line yesterday during the storm, just continued to do the job, uh, ex-military person, and now he's serving the greatest city on the, in the world. Also want to thank our Department of Transportation, our Department of Parks and Recreation, yeah. uh, New York City Emergency Management, and others for overseeing the logistics and operations of the parade. And, you know, just continue to stay on the front line. And the thousands of city workers who are just here to make sure uh, that we're able to put on the, one of the greatest shows our city displays uh, each year. And so we're expecting cold temperatures to so bundle up. Uh, uh, 20 to 25 miles per hour uh, winds, and so we'll make the call if we're going to do a cold blue uh, due to the temperature if it drops below the appropriate level. But again, have a lot of fun. If you want to stay informed with special parade related information, text Thanksgiving to 692 692 for updates uh, and always. Or you want to uh, notify NYC is a good way to stay abreast. But thank you, Macy's. 97 years of memories, 97 years of really having what's great about this country uh, during the Thanksgiving time. This is how many of us started our days for so many times, so many years of memories with families and loved ones uh, who participated in the parade. And all the volunteers, cannot thank them enough. Uh, for coming out year after year, participating and blowing up the balloons, as well as marching uh, in the parade as well. And listen, we're going to be safe because we have one of the top police commissioners uh, on the globe that's here, and he's going to make sure that the men and women of the New York City Police Department are on the front line to make sure your families enjoy the safety. So I want to turn it over uh, to Police Commissioner Eddie Caban. Thank you very much for those kind words, Mr. Mayor. Good evening, everyone. And we're thrilled to be here to welcome the millions of people who will be visiting New York City this holiday season. And it all begins with the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. This is one of the most iconic events that happens in our city. And we are proud to partner with the amazing people at Macy's who make this event such an amazing success each and every year. And this year, we want to especially thank the chairman and CEO of Macy's, Jeff Gannett. Jeff is stepping away after a 40-year career with the company, and we wish him all the best in his well-earned retirement. Congratulations, Jeff. We we'll really miss working with you.
And as we kick off this holiday season, I also want to recognize the hard work of the men and women of the NYPD who take time away from their own families to make sure that New Yorkers can celebrate safely. They are the very best at what they do, and we have them to thank for tonight, tomorrow, and for the unmatched public safety they provide all year long. And along those lines, we can tell you there are no credible or specific threats to New York City or to tomorrow's parade at this time. Our intelligence analysts and our counterterrorism officers have been preparing for this event all year long, working closely with our federal, state, and local partners. Once again, there will be security measures that you will see, like uniform officers that will be on post on and around the parade route, and there'll be other measures that you won't see. But if you're planning on joining us tomorrow morning, we urge you to take public transportation and be aware that there will be street closures which will affect travel in Manhattan. But most of all, bring your whole family. Come ready to have a great time and enjoy this wonderful event because I'll surely be here with my family. The eyes of the world continue to be on New York City and we are confident this will be another fantastic Thanksgiving in the greatest city in the world. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Enjoy everything the holidays in New York City has to offer and happy Thanksgiving to you and your loved ones. Stay safe and God bless. What's the state of the world? Huh? How are you? Same to you. I know, uh, oh, Mr. 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 Seven. I wonder if we could just hear a little bit in the context of what happened on the northern border a couple of hours ago, how, if any way, that changed the plan for tonight or tomorrow, any, any impact on the, the posture uh, for you guys. I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, uh, commission? Question. Thank you for that question, Josh. So right now it hasn't changed any plans. We've been on high alert since October 7th. I'm going to continue just to stay here and make sure every New Yorker is safe. original uh, photos and whenever you have a report of this magnitude with a potential uh, explosion or fire, uh, you want to uh, be at a state of an overabundance of caution. And uh, we like to have NYPD personnel on the ground uh, identifying if there is a nexus or identifying if there's something uh, that we need to respond to immediately. And it's always better to have uh, NYPD personnel there, and that was the whole purpose of that. But, uh, you know, as the commis commissioner stated, we were already at, at high alert since October 7th, and so there were clear procedures that we were putting in place, uh, and not in response to what happened, uh, but um, what we, you know, we wanted to be on top of things no matter what. And so there's no additional enhancement uh, that we are putting in place because we're already at high, high alert. Hey, Katie, how are you? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to do a couple of uh, soup kitchens. I'm going to stop and uh, visit people uh, that are in some of our herds. So I'm going to move around. I'm going to spend the day uh, really, you know, give it back. You know, this is a blessed time. Uh, the Salvation Army was there for, for me and my siblings. You know, they used to feed us during holiday times. And, uh, you know, we were very thankful for that, and I think one way to inspire our children uh, to be thankful and grateful is to spend some time helping those New Yorkers who are falling on hard times. So I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna spend some time. I'm gonna go up to see Reverend Sharpton at Nan, and I have a few other locations. I know Councilwoman uh, in Queens, what, I mean Brooklyn, one of our Councilwomen is doing something. So I'm gonna be all over the city, and I'm, I'm gonna try to finish up by your parents, cause your mother adores me. So I'm, I'm gonna try to get over to your mom's house, and you know, enjoy some turkey there, okay? <laughs> okay, well we'll get a vegan meal. <laughs> What's up, Tom? 
Thank you. How? I'm sorry. You know, see something, say something, do something. We're going to have the manpower that's here, and so you should let the police. I just love New York. 8.8, 8.3 million people, 35 million opinions. This is an amazing city, you know. But uh, we we want to tell them that you know that the police personnel here. Let's speak to the police you know, the police personnel that's there and make sure that they res respond to whatever whatever they see. You know, that's that's the most important thing. And the police will be here to do their job and listen, no one does it better than the NYPD. No, we we we, we 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 may we may put send two officers up there. We're not sending personnel up there. So I want to be clear on that. We're not sending a large contingent of personnel. We're sending officers up there that are good at analyzing exactly um, what is taking taking place. So you know we're not going to be depleting our personnel this year. What are you looking forward to reading with those people? Uh, so, you know, just to reiterate exactly what the mayor and the police commissioner have been saying, we see no nexus between what happened up at Niagara Falls in New York City at all at this time. Uh, and as we did in Lewiston, Maine a couple of weeks ago, again, an incident that uh, really significant, um, no nexus to the city or to terrorism. Some of our efforts are just to try to understand what happened in as close to real time as possible. Uh, so that does not suggest that there's anything more to this incident at all. Uh, it just suggests that we have a voracious appetite for understanding things in order to help protect the city if we need to. We already were protecting our city and our parade um, in a heightened posture due to events overseas. Uh, we are prepared for tomorrow. We're really looking forward to tomorrow and, and whatever it brings. Uh, and there have been protests, right? There's been nearly 400 over the last several weeks. We've had uh, over 130,000 individuals coming out in the streets. These have been overwhelmingly peaceful, uh, and we're going to make sure that they stay that way. And it's really, it's really impressive when you think about it. Uh, you know, this department is able to handle a multiple of things and take place in this very complex city. And, you know, over 400 protests where people were able to uh, you know, exercise their constitutional rights, uh, but we're not going to tolerate any disruption. You know, we're very clear on that. Uh, you're not going to destroy property. You're not going to injure people. Uh, that is not going to happen in the city. Uh, but, you know, we are prepared to deal with a multitude of things that are taking place at one time, and we're used to doing it. The police department does it well in coordination with other city agencies. Yes. So I, I will say that it is very fluid at the time and we are in very close coordination and communication with a wide range of partners who are there and who have the lead on the case and we don't at this point see indications of, of terrorism. Uh, but that said, you know, it's obviously an ongoing investigation. Again, no nexus to, to New York City. Uh, so we'll learn more collectively about this incident uh, in coordination with our partners as we go on. Uh, but I will say we don't see any indications as such yet. Thanks to you. Uh, there's high security for this parade every single year. Is there anything in particular that's different this year, especially in light of the Jackson Center the yeah, uh, well, it's clear that you know, some of the chatter is that there will be, unlike uh, other times, uh, there will be some form of uh, protest happening in the city. Uh, and so we want to make sure that things go without any disruption at all. And so uh, since, uh, you know, what we have witnessed in the size of some of the protests, we want to make sure that we are uh, taking extra precaution that we don't have any disruptions. So I, 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 if you, you know, answer your question, I think that does bring a, a new flavor this year. Thanks, folks. Okay. Thank you.